Hi everyone. This video will show us how to use the new ability to import and export our tool libraries as .csv files. This functionality will allow us to bulk edit in spreadsheet tools such as Excel, collaborate with more people and much more. So the way we do this is by right clicking either a local or cloud library, selecting export library, then selecting the save as type as a .csv file. In this case, we'll be using Microsoft Excel. The file explorer will remember the last file location that was used, which can be really handy when exporting multiple libraries to the same location. When we name the file and hit save, we should see confirmation of that in the bottom right hand side of the tool library. Once we've saved, we need to navigate to the file location and open it up. The library I exported had multiple tool types, some additive, some subtractive, so some parameters are not relevant to certain tools. For example, bead width isn't relevant to my end mills, so that field is naturally left blank. Another important detail which is worth noting is that each column header has a string name then the actual reference name of the parameter in brackets. The reference parameter name needs to be maintained in order for us to import it back into Fusion 360. We can also reorder the columns to order them in a way which is best suited for our needs without affecting our ability to re-import them back into Fusion 360. You'll notice in the tool index column, we have some tools which have repeated tool indexes. This is because there are multiple presets associated to that tool. We can see this tool has a steel and an aluminium preset associated to it. To create a new tool within the .csv file, we can copy this row and simply change the tool index number. This will make it a new tool, not a preset within another tool. We can modify the fields in here, such as changing the tool diameter. We can also copy this tool and leave the index number the same, creating another preset within that tool. Something which is really useful is being able to bulk edit multiple tools at once. Maybe we created a series of ball nose tools, but the tip radius we used was incorrect. It's now very easy for us to change all of them fields at once. Once we've done what we need to, we can save the document and without closing it, we can import it back into Fusion 360. We right click on our library, click import, and select the .csv we wish to import into Fusion 360. Another useful thing we can do is copy and paste tools directly from the spreadsheet. If we only want the top three tools from that list, we can select the rows, copy them directly, and then paste them within the library of our choice within Fusion 360. It's worth noting that if you want to copy a selection of tools that aren't at the top of the list, the way to do this is to copy the top row and paste it in a blank area. Then copy and paste the tools you want underneath that pasted row. One thing to be aware of is that we don't import or export expressions. So we can't utilize this functionality for expression workflows. So that's how we use the new .csv import and export within the tool library. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.